red versions as well as green versions. Okay, let's unfold it so that the front lifts up. And again, this is why I went for the 18 foot header rather than the 25 footer, is so that it's much easier to position this at the entrance to the field. Maybe something to consider is getting one of these or the Massey Ferguson model for breaking into fields and then getting a big harvester for actually doing the major work. Um, and we can go and harvest all of the stuff in the field entrance to just create somewhere where we can get big harvesting equipment in. It's a thought. I'm not there yet, obviously. So let's have a look at finances. We have spent 12,500 leasing so far, and we have made 2,257 from contract in income. So we have a ways to go to cover the cost, but I need a harvester for uh, for our canola crop. And we can make additional money. I, I mean, I could do this, uh, you know, the harvesting, borrowing the farmer's equipment, which will, I'll take a little bit of a hit on the payout, but um, then I have to borrow everybody's equipment and I still have to harvest my own field. And I can't use contract equipment to harvest my own field, so I'm going to need to lease a harvester anyway. So we're now playing the game of can I make more money doing hard contracts than I'm actually spending leasing this equipment. And since I have to, oh yeah, my canola's available today and my sorghum's probably not ready until August. I'm gonna have to keep whatever I, I rent um, two day, or two months. I could have jumped through to the third day of July and then uh, lease the harvester for the canola last day of July and then the sorghum first day of August. That's an option, but um, I decided to do it this way around. Now we have no benefit doing our canola early, except for we can then spend some time working the field while we wait for the sorghum to um, ripen but we don't have anywhere to put canola I don't have the oil mill I don't plan on having the oil mill at this stage so it's going to sit in it yeah it doesn't matter if I uh, harvest it today or August or September it's going to be sitting in my uh, silo for quite a while before we actually get around to selling it so did I check where all these are going um, grain mill, grain mill grain mill okay so all of these are going to the grain mill so all of the bonus crop is actually going to be uh, more flour for me it's actually going to be a little bit more costly I think it's going to be a little bit more costly because I'm now going to be running an oat production a barley production and a wheat production I think I pay for all of them individually. So if it's four dollars a month or per cycle per month, if it's four dollars per cycle, then I'm paying four dollars for all the things each. 
So it would be $12 to process all three. That's what I think it is. It's the thing. Some, some, some productions stack and others don't. In computer terms, some productions run in parallel, some run in series. If they run in series, then you're halving the production of each thing. Or, you know, if you're producing two things, you halve the production. If you're producing three things, you, uh, you reduce your production rate for each by two one-third. Oops. And then the ones that run in parallel will uh, will produce everything at maximum rate and charge you at maximum rate. Tight turn. Ah, that will do us. Yay. Okay. As per usual, we'll do three headlets. I'm going to open the window. I am way too hot here. I'm done with. Especially with only uh, 18 foot header, I had the 25 foot. Uh, yeah, there's the possibility we could do two headers and be sufficient. But this is the undersized header. Definitely three. And this field is a little bit not straight so there's no real um, best edge to do I'm going to have to figure out uh, what direction we're going we might do a 90 degree cut across the field and then uh, see how that works out with the split across the middle. Uh, we're up to 60%, so probably make Two thirds full at uh, second headland, about halfway round the second headland. So we'll make it all the way round. Uh, we'll miss some bits. We'll go back and get them if I can persuade it. probably be about third full when we complete the third headland and then it's back to uh, we'll just cut straight across and see how we end up This is the harvester we had way back on Lawfolds. Might even have been the first harvester I bought on uh, Oakfield as well. 
when we were still, you know, trying to gather ourselves. Because, yeah, it, it can take a little while to fill up because of the header size. I think we probably went with the 25 footer just because, hey, I can cut more stuff with that. Um, but uh, it's a good it's a good size starting harvester and I was looking at this one I think the um, the New Holland uh, this thing it's about the same size actually that's got a bigger tank it's got the similar size headers uh, 28 foot Oh. Okay. Whatever. I thought that also came with a 25 footer. So it's got it's slightly bigger, slightly more expensive. So this was the cheaper option to go with, which is why we ended up really with this one rather than the New Holland. I did want to check. So yes, there's an X9, which is very expensive but really really too big for what we need right now something this size came up I would strongly consider buying it just because it's uh... yeah it, it serves our needs I mean we could go smaller even but Frankly, why bother? Um, yeah, a smaller a smaller harvester is. It's going to take longer to do stuff, and as the farm expands, we're going to exceed its capabilities much faster. I guess once we get back to our farm, we'll see how. Uh, capable or how, how good a fit this one is for our uh, our needs 8200 uh, 8600 the capacity on this and Mrs. Osa's just opened the door to the lounge so uh, it's cooling down quickly in here Cold, cold from uh, Miss Osa. And let's beam back to the tractor. There we go. So I figure this whole setup is quite good. This trailer is about two and a half harvester loads, which I think works quite well for us. I prefer multiples, so if we had 32, no, three, it's 24. We had about 25,500 litres, thereabouts, we could get three loads out of this particular harvest. The thing, I mean, we haven't got our own harvester, so it's not so much worrisome as to when we get it filled, you know, what capacities we're running at the moment. But this is kind of convenient, it's 42%. I mean, the obvious issue is if I fill the harvester up three times, 
and empty it. I've got half a harvester load of capacity in the harvester that I can leave the harvester running on a worker. And I have to get to um, the storage point or the cell point with what I have in the trailer before the harvester fills up. So that's not necessarily ideal. The closer I can get to um, the harvester being pretty much empty, so if our grain cart was 25,000, emptying the harvester for the third time would leave 500 litres in there. And so I've almost got a full tank capacity um, to go running off and emptying the cart and coming back again. So that's really the concern. It, and you know, if you can only empty 10% of the harvester, um, on yeah, with with the capacity you have remaining on your grain cart, then that's just not ideal. Okay, do I want to cut in when I get to the end of this leg? Yeah, maybe. We're heading to seventy here, approximately. So we've got a good amount of grass at the end here, so that does give me space to turn around. Going north of here, not quite so much. Okay. Let us get this set to 90 degrees. As I said, we don't have um, GPS, so we're just going to have to do the best we can. But if I cut off here, this is the longest edge, so at least initially I'm going to get some good long runs without having to turn around. Yeah, now one of the things is once the the doors are open in the house the air conditioning, heating will work absolutely fine. It's just when you've got doors closed the only environmentally controlled room is the main living room and depending on whether it's the heating's on or the cooling's on all the other rooms will get much colder or much warmer because uh, they still have um, air blowing in it seems that the HVAC is optimized for having you know for the whole house and if you close off rooms then it's it's still pumping air for the whole house um, but it's only paying attention to the temperature in the living room so the bedrooms can get very uncomfortable if the doors are shut at night time Typically too cold in the summer, too warm in the winter. I mean, seriously too warm in the winter. But uh, now folks are actually moving around. Uh, I'm definitely noticing it getting colder. I did not add course play to the download list. So again, we added um, Simple Inspector. So I'm going to let that run. It's Simple Inspector's not too big of a deal. So it doesn't seem to be messing with anything. So I may call that good. Um, complex scripts like Maze Plus and Course Play and stuff like that tend to have issues with other mods frequently with each other um, not necessarily raise plus and course play but yeah frequently if you've got complex mods they can mess 
with other complex mods. I mean, I'm wondering, um, there's a... There's a couple of contract improvement mods. Um, I would not suggest running more than one of them. Um, same with BGA mods. There are multiple sort of build your own BGA mods. I would not suggest running multiples. Um, so if you're playing with Maze Plus, don't do the build your own BGA uh, mod because it might all end in tears. How are we doing? 55%. So, okay. Now, fortunately, I think with the barley, no, we didn't get back before the harvester finished the field. But then again, the harvester finished the field. It was almost full as well. I think it might have been full. We might not have taken everything up. I didn't check the front of the harvester before uh, I emptied it. But this field and the other two fields we have up for contract are all very close to the grain mill. So it's not going to take me five minutes to run down there and back again. And of course we're doing oats at the moment which is a high value low density crop so it's going to take longer for the harvester to fill up anyway okay now i'm getting cold so what i might do is open the doors properly and uh, close the window This is kind of small wedge of uh, crop. So we will stick that on the worker and I will be back in a second. finding it useful to have GPS on my heavy equipment um, it's not an absolute must I can still do this pretty much dead reckoning where are we at 50% done so we've got a little under four full tanks here. Let's so we'll cruise on and doing the oats. This is also twenty five thousand liters. Um, yeah.
And the last one we were just under by two, th or we were just over two thousand liters of free grain. So. Uh, slightly bigger grain cart could be a good deal I think at least for this size harvester but again if we get something in the 12,000 and 13,000 litre capacity then I'm going to want a much bigger cart I was thinking about the Joskin, actually. Oh. It's kind of a big... big carrier. Okay, the other thing we're going to see here Oats is oats and barley are comparatively light crops compared with wheat. I cannot fill this trailer up with wheat at all. It doesn't all fit. Barley we can get full load. I'm thinking wheat uh, oats we can probably get a full load. Um, I don't know for now. I think what I'm looking at right now is to do this block on the right. That might give us enough to fill up the grain cart. And then... Uh, This is interesting. I'll cut straight across here. This is, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think. Uh, figuring out, oops, it's going to be even more of a challenge if I don't drive in a straight line. Uh, come back on that side. We can do that side. Do that side. I don't, I think I've probably got a couple of strips here that are going to be significantly narrower than the headlet, header. So, that is what it is. Just enough space. Get that reasonably straight. Yeah, that's that's definitely not 18 foot wide swath of uh, crop on the right there. And that's fine. So I think once I've done this side, that should give me sufficient to fill the tractor. We'll set this off on a worker over on that block, and I'm guessing we should be able to drop off, drop off at the mill, and get back here before the harvester completes it or is full. Doubt it'll be full. 